YouTube, it's Michael from Asymmetrical Preparedness. So, as you see, I'm all bundled up here. Man, it's getting cold, and it's only, you know, it's early October. Usually here, it's, it's nice still. I mean, it's still warm. Here I am in the Pacific Northwest. This winter is gonna be tough. This is gonna be a hard winter, people, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, Farmer's Almanac is saying it. Um, I've t mentioned in the past, but other videos, my wife has this weird thing. I know I've said it before, but if you haven't seen that video, I've come to realize over the years, she has these things called warning dreams. And uh, that's what we call them. So uh, they're different from normal dreams. When she has them, I used to be like, oh yeah, pff, whatever, I don't believe in that kind of stuff. But I'll tell you what, I've come to realize over the years, she's on when she has these different, these special dreams, or you can call them. And she dreamed of a very, very harsh, hard winter with lots of, you know, adversarial basically conditions and tough times. So I want you guys to be prepared. Um, make sure that you have your stuff ready for winter. If you're in a location where it's not cold yet, get ready. I think it's going to be cold. I mean, Montana is already dumped on in snow. The Midwest is getting all these rains again, which is going to impact food shortages again, you know, and food prices. All the things. I mean, it's just there's so many things going on right now with food um, production around the world, uh, shorter summers, shorter growing periods. Um, you know, I know the, people talk about the grand solar minimum and stuff like that. I don't know that much about that. Is it possible? Sure. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be a tough winter. I'm pretty sure. So make sure you have the things, wood for your wood stove, um, blankets, warm clothing like this, you know, shell with, uh, you know, layering systems underneath. Ready for the things, okay? Especially if SHTF happens and it's a bad winter or you lose power or whatever it is. Be ready, people. Think about these things in advance. Sleeping bags, things to keep you warm. Um, you know, just there's lots of different things. Whatever your situation is, there's so many different things I can go into. But it's just, it's different in everybody's situation. So prepping is so, it's so, it's difficult to talk about because everybody's situation is different. Your mind, your money, your financial situation is different. Your area of operations, you know, where you live, uh, what state you're in, what area of that state you're in is different. Everybody's different. So I want you guys to think about what you need to do. Are your vehicles ready? Have you changed out your uh, um, coolant? Put in fresh antifreeze? Have you, um, I, I don't know. Have you winterized your, your fifth wheel or your trailer or whatever it may be? Are you, uh, uh, are you ready to bug out? Is your bug out location, you know, uh, winterized? All these things like this. Just make sure you're able to keep your family and yourself warm. Provide for yourselves in the wintertime and the tough times coming. So this is just a, a little video about this. It's just, it's getting cold, man. I mean, it's in the mid-30s, I think it is, low 30s here. And I'm talking, it's only October... 9th right now. I don't know when exactly I'll post this video, but I just want you guys to think about these things. I try to empower you guys all the time. I try to get you guys to think. Use your brains. What do you need to do to get ready for winter? For really harsh winter I'm talking about. Um, generators. Do you have fuel for your generators? Um, backup power sources, backup heat sources, all these things. What do you need to do? I don't have the answers for you. I want you to think about it. I want to empower you guys, like I've said before, all the time. Prep a little bit every day. Also, don't fear. Don't prep out of fear. Prep out of peace of mind. Think of the peace of mind you'll have if you're ready for winter. If you got all the things. And if you have all the, the skill sets and the knowledge and stuff. So, be prepared. Be ready. Um, yeah, I love you guys. I want you guys to be, not just survive, I want you guys to thrive in an event. So, think about the things, go over lists, make some lists, go over some things that you need to do, get them accomplished quickly, soon, before winter gets really bad. Uh, snow chains, another thing for your vehicles, if you're in an environment where there's snow, or, uh, you know, sandbags to keep out flooding, whatever it may be, I don't know, your situations are all different. We don't have many natural disaster type things where I live here in the Pacific Northwest with earthquakes, I mean, you know, maybe some volcanoes and stuff like that, if it ever happens. If it happens, you know, we're going to be screwed pretty big, pretty bad. Um, but anyway, think about the things, do the things, prep a little bit every day. Um, yeah, I love you guys, and I want you to be successful, I want you to thrive. So do the things. I uh, love you, and blessings to you and yours. Oh, sorry. If you like, please subscribe, hit the like button, comment below, please. Um, I've also kind of started on, do, I've been putting some videos up over on Patreon, if you're interested. Uh, a lot more in-depth topics, stuff like that. Um, it's definitely, I think it's worth a dollar a month. Definitely, I would do it. Uh, I'm only a patron of two people, and uh, you know I'm not a dollar a month level. I'm paying a little more, 
but I think it's worth it. And Patreon keeps all that crap out of the way, keeps all the trolls out, uh, enables us, us to, as, as content providers, to do a lot more. And I don't have to worry about what I say on uh, Patreon. You know, I can talk about, you know, the evil things that people don't like here on YouTube. They try to censor me. So, I love you guys, and blessings to you and yours.